Item Number SCP-7029 Object Class Neutralized Special Containment Procedures Foundation web crawlers are tasked to remove video evidence contrary to CV-00501. Individuals identified to have personally witnessed SCP-7029 are to be detained and administered Class C amnestics. The McGall family is to be put under surveillance for the time being. Description SCP-7029 refers to American Airlines Flight 150, Chicago O'Hare International Airport to Charles de Gaulle Airport. While traveling over the state of Ohio, the airplane, SCP-7029-A, spontaneously stopped responding to controller input and began heading straight towards the city of Westerville. Air traffic controllers were notified by radio that none of the warning lights were going off. Witnesses that observed SCP-7029-A from the ground claimed the anomaly performed a series of loop-the-loops rather than heading straight down. The Federal Aviation Administration's investigation was taken over by the Foundation after details of SCP-7029 emerged post-crash. Begin Log Smart Home Security Camera Chase McGall and Veronica McGall are in the kitchen. Miss McGall is making cookie dough. Mr. McGall is spoon-feeding their seven-month-old son, Max, peas. Max spits the peas onto his star-patterned bib and reaches for a plate of cookies. Mr. McGall pushes the cookies away. Max immediately cries and flaps their arms. Mrs. McGall notices this, smiles, and gives Mr. McGall a shoulder rub. Mr. McGall sighs and gives her the spoon, walking over to a nearby table to type on a laptop and drink his coffee. Max's cries cease when Mrs. McGall quietly shushes him. Mrs. McGall scoops up some peas, enunciating loudly as she performs a series of looping hand gestures with the spoon. Max giggles and claps. Mrs. McGall flutters her lips as she slowly brings the spoon to Max's open mouth. Suddenly, wooden debris showers from above. Mrs. McGall narrowly avoids getting hit with a rooster weather vane, causing her to flinch and fall down. Mr. McGall springs up from his seat, startled. Mrs. McGall coughs until the dust clears. She expresses immense shock. Max resumes clapping as SCP-7029-A's nose cone makes physical contact with his mouth. Max sucks on the metal surface, causing the anomaly to move in a manner similar to a pacifier. Coffee spills onto the laptop as Mr. McGall freezes in place. Mrs. McGall stares, almost asphyxiating by forgetting to breathe. CCTV Traffic Camera an adolescent male rides on his bike on the sidewalk, wearing his headphones. Multiple neighbors rush out of their homes and become stunned. The boy sees the neighbors, takes off the headphones, then looks upwards. SCP-7029-A's rear protrudes from the roof of a two-story house. All jet engines suck up roof tiles and are on fire. The boy looks on, crashing into a mailbox. Smart Home Security Camera Mr. McGall repeatedly slams a meat tenderizer against SCP-7029-A and tries to yank the high chair away to no success. Mrs. McGall frantically tries to use her cell phone but loses her grip on the device, allowing it to fall into a filled flower vase, shorting it out. Exasperated, Mrs. McGall rips a decorative cross from the wall and points it to SCP-7029-A, shouting loudly. Despite the amount of weight and force being applied to Max, he and the high chair are unharmed. Max coos and flaps his arms. SCP-7029-A shakes violently before the nose cone appears to warp and disappear into Max's mouth. Both parents back away, visibly trembling when more of the ceiling collapses. Ceramic fragments and shampoo bottles fall into the kitchen, alongside Martha McGall. Footnote 1. Mr. McGall's mother. Martha snaps her head up and gasps as she looks down. She is naked. Martha panics and swipes some baking sheets from the counter to cover herself. Mr. McGall closes his eyes, struggling not to vomit. Mrs. McGall looks away from Martha, trying to suppress her gagging. She stares at SCP-7029-A in horror. YouTube Livestream Passengers and flight attendants are panicking by running through aisles or jumping on their seats. The majority of them crowd around, crushing each other around the emergency exits. The exits are not opening, and the view of a kitchen can be seen through the windows. The cameraman, who is adorning a red hoodie, curses and rushes to the front of SCP-7029-A. The front exit is also blocked, and the door to the cockpit is wide open. 
Both pilots shout into their radios. The view from the cockpit windows is pitch black. A thunderous creaking sound is heard before a pair of white rectangles break through the hull. The cameraman jumps backwards as the entire cockpit enters the darkness. Everyone still on board stops and stares directly at the torn opening. The cameraman turns on their phone's flashlight function. The light illuminates a giant tongue and uvula. Shrieking is heard from the cockpit as it falls off an unseen ledge. The tongue notices them and moves against the opening. The cameraman screams before the footage ends abruptly. Smart Home Security Camera Multiple neighbors bang blunt objects against SCP-7029-A. Others are trying to guide Mr. and Mrs. McGall out of the house, but both refuse. Max's high chair shatters completely. Max is now sitting on the floor unharmed and exhibiting signs of lethargy. Everyone looks up. The holes in the ceiling, second floor, and the roof are engulfed in fire. The lower section of SCP-7029-A is fully entering the house now. Loose objects close to Max are getting violently sucked into the jet engines, exploding into masses of flames. Tables, chairs, and the rest of the furniture appear unaffected by the suction, causing those who have not fled to hang on to them tightly. Miraculously, all maintain their grip. Eventually, the entirety of SCP-7029-A warps and disappears completely down Max's esophagus. The immediate loss of suction results in those hanging on to crash into the floor hard. Neighbors overturn furniture. They exhibit signs of extreme fright as they aim their guns in Max's direction. Mrs. McGall slowly, deliberately walks to Max, who is coughing on the floor. Mrs. McGall kneels and extends a hand but pulls it back when Max burps. A tiny captain's pilot cap flies from his mouth. Max smacks his lips and looks at the plate of peas. No peas are present. Max begins to cry. The neighbors begin to panic when Mrs. McGall spots a still intact plate of cookies on the counter and dumps its contents onto Max's lap. Max giggles and eats the cookies. Mrs. McGall allows the plate to slip from her fingers and shatters on the floor. Mr. McGall's eye twitches. Mrs. McGall crumbles into a fetal position on the ground, staring off into space. Martha is hiding under a curtain. Max shoves chocolate chips into his nostrils. The house is still on fire. End log. All relevant parties were amnesticized with Class A amnestics. Cover stories CV-33454 and CV-00501, smaller plane crash and plane lost at sea, accounted for the damage of the McGall residence and the absence of SCP-7029-A, respectively. Tests were conducted on Max McGall to determine if he possessed anomalous properties. While Max McGall exhibited a higher Hume count, he didn't qualify for Reality Bender classification and soon returned to baseline over time. The McGall family has decided to temporarily relocate to Lincoln Village, Ohio until the property at their original residence is fixed. Addendum 7029.1 Update a runaway train that has just been reported to have left the tracks it was riding on appears to be heading directly to Lincoln Village. Containment efforts are underway. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.